Kevin, I got to tell you, my friend, thank you so much for even just carving a few minutes to chat with me today because I know you are so busy right now on the road, living your best life. Let me just ask you to start off this interview, Kev. Like, what is this moment like for you right now with Beyonce on tour? You're on tour. What is this moment like for you? It is, um, it's emotional. It's like everything I ever wanted as a kid, you know? I always think that because of what's happened in the past, this would never happen. So I'm grateful for it all. Take me back to that moment when you hear your song from the late 90s infused into this modern ballroom era for Beyonce. I passed out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I felt the blood go to my head. I was angry, I was, I was happy, I was just, I was all these things at one time, like everything, all the emotions at one time coming to me and I just went boom. What are fans experiencing in real time? You're literally on the road as we're speaking. So what right. has the experience been like? And what are fans getting when they get to go and see you on the Well, club? that's the whole thing. Every club is different. So it's like they'll go to DJ set or they'll get the performance and DJ set or they'll just get me to host. I don't know. It's just one <laughs> of those things where I, I, I kind of left it up to when I get there, what I'm supposed to do. And then I do it the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So, um, no. It all starts when I walk through the door. So that's, and that's the way I deal with it. You know what I mean? Until I leave. So four outfits later, six outfits later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I love it. And you know what I think is so great? I love that you're honestly pairing this tour as the unofficial after party for Beyonce's tour, because we see these people are leaving Beyonce's tour, they're leaving her show and they are full of energy. They've like just gone through like a spiritual awakening. Like they can't believe they just witnessed that. So then to celebrate that moment with you afterward, it's like perfect. Right, it is perfect. We tried to make it official, but it just wasn't working out in time. And then at first I was like, I'm not gonna do it unofficial. <laughs> but then my friend was like, it's kind of cool, girl. Like, you've been behind her, it's kind of cool. I said, yeah, but go to school. Ah. It's cool. I said, okay, okay, go ahead. This is, you know, the young bucks know better than I do. So they're just like, you know, I'm like, okay, this is the young bucks, girl. <laughs> yes, because in my opinion, the alternative is either you go home or maybe go to a gay club <laughs> afterwards. So it's like, let's just go see Kevin. <laughs> we need something to do for at least two hours, at least two hours. Yes. Yeah, I'm on my own, bro. I got something to do. <laughs> Period. Like, you got to keep that party going. And I got to imagine, like, for you, Kev, like, being able to go on tour, promote this EP, get to hang out with all these fans. Like, what is it like for you when you walk in the room and then you see all these other people trickle in after seeing Beyonce and then their outfits and everything? First of all, it's all new fans. These are not these are not older fans. These are not fans from back in the day. These are all new people. And so, you know, I just did Chicago and it was the DJ set there and the floor stayed packed the whole time. And every time I put something on, the kids were soaking it in. It, it made me really emotional. Cause I was just like, I said, let me try this. Let me try to do something here. Let me just see if they, they're really listening, girl. And so I put this gospel track on and so I talked to God and they went in, girl. I was like, okay, so you guys are into this. You know what I mean? Oh, okay, so, so we're into this. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, no! I said, talk to God, girl. <laughs> but it's like, I like that, I love that. You know what I mean? Because if, if I don't give that, if I don't give that whole surprise thing at the end of it, it's just not. Because I can go on and on. That's the whole thing about me, girl. I can't stop. So I'll go on and on and on and on. So I have to like chop it at one point. You know what I mean? That's I know. Whole, that's what happens when you get management. <laughs> I gotta say that that's why that's one of the reasons I'm really excited you're coming to Vegas because you know how Vegas is. I mean, these clubs they're going all night. These girlies are not slowing down. It might be a Sunday night. We don't care that we got work in the morning. Like we're here to turn up. <laughs> Vegas is a joke, girl. <laughs>